how did so-called African Americans get to America? Bring it out. Some, some of us was already here before. They some said, of us? Now, watch before, before they say we were slaves, a lot of us was already here. Who on this sign, what people were already here in America? So called Native Americans. You said we're about to tell you about what you already know. So what do you already know? Today is Sabbath. I ain't supposed to be working today. I'm supposed to be resting today. Okay. Right? All right. What else goes with the Sabbath? You know that, right? Yeah. All right. So what else happens on the Sabbath that you know? I don't, I, okay. I don't know that part. Tim. Right. So let, let's start with something else we should know as a people. What is your nationality? Y'all going to say Hebrew Israelite. I'm a Hebrew. You're wrong. We're what? not going to say that we're Hebrew Israelite. What, what y'all going to say? We're going to say that we are the Israelite. That's okay. right. That's right. You see all the right. difference? Hebrew Israelites is a construct that the white man is putting in all our people right. so that we won't go back to our knowledge. Right, right. right. So even the knowledge that you're saying or proclaiming has already been concocted by the white man. That's right. So what you think you know, you don't know. Let's just be real. Okay. And a lot of our people are building themselves up on knowledge that has only led to more and more destruction of our people. Right, right. But we get puffed up on. We it's do. A lot, it's a lot of confusion right now, too. It is. Now, watch this. This is how we're going to deal with the confusion. Get Deuteronomy 33 and 29. No. Because what happens is we're stuck in our world. You just said you knew about the Sabbath, but you just came out of the store buying the Sabbath. No. As a people, God said that his children, the Israelites, should not buy and sell on the Sabbath day. Right, right. So you're still in the midst of your sin, but you think on your way down the street that you're going to go and get salvation. Jesus. But what if you die in well, the midst I'm of your sin? Hell. If I die right, right. now, I'm going to go to hell. Did you understand that it is, uh, our conditions of captivity, going into slavery, is already hell enough? Yeah, Us having to pay taxes is hell enough. The way that we structure our community is hell enough. Yeah. But what do we know to fix those problems? We, don't, we, we have never gone back to God's instruction. Yeah. So watch this. Because we, a, a, after all this destruction, we need some good news, right? Yeah. right? All right, so let's get this. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 33, verse 29. How oh. happy art thou, O Israel? Now, you might hear that and say, dang, well, if you're saying we're the Israelites, my people ain't happy. You want to know why we ain't happy? Because we ain't keeping God's laws. What? Right. Right. When we're not keeping God's laws, we continue to live in destroyed situations. Hey, I ain't want to cut you off. But how, how do you how do how do y'all know that we come from exactly this tribe? Hey, we can how go. do you, how can you say black Americans is the tribe of Judah? All how, right. Why the black Americans ain't another tribe? Why do y'all know that? Okay. The exact tribe. You got any more questions Puerto on Americans, that one? Cubans, Dominicans. I ain't never heard them nothing say nothing about their tribe of Israel. All right. Cool. I never heard. Have them you ever? Have you ever had anybody in your lifetime go to the Bible and pro go to the prophecies that determine who the Israelites are? Have it, has anybody ever done that with you? No. Okay. So we're going to take our time to do that for you. You got two minutes? I got two minutes. You got two minutes. So we're going to get that done. I need you to listen. You said that two I minutes need, ago. I you need said you. Two well, minutes. The thing is, you came up with a question I two did. minutes You're later. Right. So I need you to deal patiently yeah. Yeah. with your brother. Right. As I give you understanding. Understanding that before you came up here, you I didn't have right? Hold on. Let me deal with the first one. 
You, you understand? Yeah, so yeah. listen, I need you to listen, my brother. Breathe. Happy art thou, o Israel, uh -huh. who is like unto thee, O people, saved by the Lord. So you're of a nation that is going to be saved by the Lord as long as you're keeping the commandments. Read. Right. The shield of thy help, uh -huh. and who is the sword of thy exodus. Go ahead. And thy enemies shall be found liars unto thee. Do we have enemies as a people? Yeah. And our enemies have set up a system, crafty counsel against us, and they have been lying to us to where we don't know who we are, what we should be doing, what God requires of us. Would you agree? Right. So that is a part of us recognizing who we are. Now, you ask the question of how do we know that first off we're the Israelites? Go to Deuteronomy 28, verse 15. No. Yo, I said how we know. I'm going to get there. I'm going to get there. I, yeah, I got a baby steps. Baby steps. We're going to deal with the nation at large first. The nation at large. Then we can jump into Judah. We're going to do that. We're going to make sure. But you got to be patient with me. I know you got two minutes. I know you got two minutes, but you also had a second question that I haven't even gotten to yet. And you got to get a full understanding on the first one. I'm trying to make sure you get it right. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 15. Uh -huh. But it shall come to pass, if thou wilt not hearken unto the voice of the Lord thy God, uh -huh. to observe to do all his commandments and his statutes which I command thee this day, that all these curses shall come upon thee and overtake thee. So we already heard one of those curses. We already heard that our enemies will be found liars as we rediscover who we are as a people. But as a people, God gave us commandments that we must keep. Are we keeping God's commandments? Heck no, you just came out of the store on the Sabbath day buying and selling. We, we can see that clearly. But what happens to us as a people when we break God's commandments? Hold Trump on. Hold on. Do y'all keep all the commandments? We are keeping the commandments. Y'all scribe, right? scribe to. Y'all scribe to. Y'all scribe to keep the commandments. My you have to learn them so that you can apply them, correct? You, you, That's why we are too, correct? Right. That's okay, why we're so teaching. Don't say you keep it. Say you scribing to keep it. Right. You may fall watch short. It, watch you it. May so fall my question short. would be, did I come out the store buying the seven on seven? Oh, you might have. It's, it's a lot of right. commandments. Just because right. I is. just because I came out it the is. store, you might have did something else today that right. you didn't that you fell short right. of, right? Okay. So this is how our people. It was a yes or no question. That's why I'm saying. This is how our people are found in these conditions. We said to God, yes, we will keep the commandments, but how are we found today? Not keeping them. That's why our conditions are the way they are. You understand that? That's why we no longer have these names on us. And I'm going to that person next. But I need you to listen, bro. I need you to listen. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, verse 37. Chapter 28, verse 37. Uh -huh. Thou shalt become an astonishment. A proverb and a byword. What is a byword? What? A byword. A byword? Byword. That means it's like two words in one, right? Okay. Yeah. By mean two. Right? Okay. Now this one's B Y. B Y. B Y. Oh, I, oh, I don't know. Oh, I don't know. Byword is a name outside of your God given name. Okay. But two words that describe so-called black people, African American, but those are two white men. So we have lost our God given name because we no longer are willing to keep the commandments. That makes sense? Yeah. This is one of the curses that fallen upon us. Now, we have to be taught and proven that we are the children of Israel all over again. That's right. right. That makes sense? And that this is the situation that you're coming up with and we gotta deal with. We're, that's what we're dealing with right now. You understand? But, my sister, my brother, how did so-called African Americans get to America? Bring it out. Some, some of us was already here before. They some say, of us? Now, watch before it. Before they say we were slaves, a lot of us was already here. Who on this sign, what people were already here in America? So-called Native Americans. So-called Native Americans. Oh, let's look down here. I ain't talking about the white look. Oh, hold on. The Asian let, let's not even go that far. We, we know that there are imposters. Our enemies have been found liars, correct? Yeah. That's what the Bible said, right? Yeah. Okay, so let's stay in the context of the Bible. But those who are the originals, the original Native Americans, they were already over here, right? Bring it out. But were they taken into captivity, made slaves in other countries? Right. Across the four corners of the earth? Right. Were they made slaves here in America? Right. No. Yeah. Yes. So what we're reading is the curse. Were their names changed? Yeah. Were they made an astonishment? Were Proverbs made about them? They had to just change the name of the Washington, uh, it used to be the Redskins, now it's the Commanders. Bring it out! That, that was a astonishment. Right. And it was a proverb against the Native Americans. Right. 
So the same thing they call us Negroes, African American. They right. changed our name, changed the proverbs that are associated with us, and made mockery of us as a people. Deep. Matter of fact, Thanksgiving, did you celebrate that? Real? If you call eating, celebrating, yeah. What did you eat on Thanksgiving? Okay. Potato salad, rice, salad. collard greens. Well, I ate for y'all. I ate for y'all. No, I, I know y'all ain't eating. I know y'all ain't eating. Because you're eating towards the destruction of our brothers. Bring Do you realize that the beginning of Thanksgiving, when the white man created that, he was giving thanks to his God, right. the white man, for killing off our brothers. Deep. There were many Thanksgivings. They just lumped it all into one. Right. But that is what we know when we read the scriptures. When we know that our people have been made mockery of. We know that. So when our people are eating turkey, see, he, he talked about macaroni and cheese. Right. But the macaroni and cheese is just like stuffing. Teach. All the atrocities that happen to our people. Look at, look at what happened to the Native American Indians. And this happened starting in 1492. Bring it out. The same thing. That's a lynching right there. Right. Being hung. Right. Look at the baby. That's a child. Teach. Being getting ready to be beaten across a stone or a wood block. Teach. You understand that? Yeah. So the same atrocities that happened to us during Jim Crow and Black Code era was already happening to our Native American and Hispanic brethren right. in 1492. Right. Country, right. The reason why they went and built, got, got us from the west coast of Africa is because they needed to repopulate the land yeah, after right. destroying 77 some odd million of our brothers. Right. But we were the same nation going through the same issue. Right. You understand that? Same things that happened. Now, how did our people, whether they were found here in America or found across the four corners, of, how do we get there and be made slaves? Yeah. How do we get transported? Anybody? Bring it up. And is it written in the Bible? How did our people get from the west coast of Africa? On ships. And on ships. ships. Slave ships. Right. Slave ships. Cargo slave ships now my brother did you know or is it not true that that is in the bible oh yeah yeah that's what it said in the bible yeah Where? i'm pretty sure it's in deuteronomy what verse i don't know what verse right so and this is why we teach so that know, our people so hold on know. let me finish my point and then i i ask you a second question this is why when we say or proclaim we know we have to give directions to our people when i say it's here in Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. We can go there when you are uh, uh, reading either your pamphlet or your Bible. You can go directly there. Let's read Deuteronomy 28 just so you can hear what thus saith the Lord. Read. The book of Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. Uh -huh. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. Egypt is where the Israelites were. What, were. what were the Israelites doing in Egypt? When Moses came to Pharaoh and said, let my people go, what condition were our people in in Egypt. What condition were our people in? You say when we were in Egypt. In bondage. So when the Israelites hear the word Egypt, they understand that that is a situation of bondage, captivity, or slavery. But how do we get brought to slavery? Read. How we get to and the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. With ships. Read on. By the way, where have I spoken to thee? Thou shalt see it no more again. We won't see our homeland any more again. I got a question though. Oh, let's finish. I'm, I'm gonna show you something. Because there's something very yeah, I, I might need forget. To, I might I know, forget. Hold you and just, just hold your peace. Because we're gonna deal with you. I'm talking about what, what you just said though. Okay, exactly what is what, what is? Said. Go ahead. You said the ships came to Egypt. That's what you just said? No. And thou shalt read it again. Read it again. And the Lord shall bring thee into Egypt again. In two. Egypt. From where like though? We were from where? From Egypt. west, from West Africa. Right. So watch this. Watch this. Let's get revelation. I'm gonna show you what the Egypt can also mean. So Egypt that they knew about from the beginning was bondage in Egypt, in Africa, correct? But yeah. well, are we in Egypt right now? I'm pretty sure this could be an Egypt, yeah. This could, but is this geographically Egypt? No. No. So what does God talk about later on in the scriptures as he gives more understanding to his people? You got that in Revelation? Is that 11 and verse 8? Yes, sir. 11 and verse 8? Let's get that. So that you can get an understanding of this new Egypt that we're going to be brought into. Read. The book of Revelation, chapter 11 and verse 8. Uh -huh. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street. Now watch this. Are we dead? No, I'm living. 
Are we living? Yeah. But without understanding, are we really living? Oh, so that's what God is meaning when he's talking about their dead bodies. Our people are walking around without any identity. You just said to your brother, Happy New Year. Where do we get the idea or concept of New Year? Okay, the New Year don't technically start till spring, cause that's when the, right. that's when the flowers bloom, but that's when the seeds. Watch it. I know that, but I'm just so saying. So watch this. So because we're under such strong delusion, we'll still talk about it like we really believe in. Even though you know it's wrong. So watch this. Watch this. Are you adding? Hold on. Let me let me ask the question to you. Are we adding to our people's destruction or aiding it? Yes, I'm aiding it by telling them that. We you're adding to it. I mean, adding to it. You're yeah, adding, adding, to adding to it. it. So what we're saying, this is what God is talking about in our dead bodies. We're not dead physically. We're dead mentally and spiritually. Yeah, right. You understand that? Read on. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, uh -huh. which is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. So this land is spiritually called Sodom right. and Egypt. Right. Didn't they just pass it all? What, do you know what Sodom is? Having sex with somebody anally, right? Somebody. Or today we call that homosexuality. Right. Yeah. Same sex marriages, yeah. transgender, cisgender, right. Right. Uh, uh, minor attractive persons. All of that is happening in this land and being made okay. Right. The same way it was going on in Sodom of old. But this land is spiritually Sodom. Then it also says that this land is spiritually Egypt. Right. What happened in the Egypt of old? Slavery. Peace. What happened in the Egypt of now? Slavery. Were we not brought to slavery here in America? Really? Yeah. So, go back to Deuteronomy 28, verse 68. Now does that add context to your question? Read it again. Which question? Look at Deuteronomy, chapter 28, verse 68. So, really? you said, well, you were dealing with Egypt. You wanted to know, well, I thought that we, uh, this is not Egypt. Basically, you were trying to get the understanding of old Egypt, as compared to New Egypt, your question actually stemmed from, well, did we get taken on ships from Egypt? No, we got taken on ships all across the world and brought here to America or brought to South America or brought to Iraq, Iran and made slaves. But by way of cargo slave ships is how we went. So from, from Egypt and Moses, where they went? Where did they leave? Once they left, when, once Moses, they, when they crossed the Red Sea, where, like, where okay. did they end up? To? They actually walked into Egypt. And they after walked out they, of Egypt. After they got freed? They walked out of Egypt. From Ramses in the in the, in the Right, they walked out of Egypt. Okay, where you, you did they walk? The, yeah, they walked. But where what, did they walk if, to? If was it the West? To, if, was it, on, was it West Africa? Was it West Africa? Hold on, hold on. Because the prophecy is for past You can't Africa. answer none of my questions. I, I'm answering it right now, but I'm going to give him a chance. He just walked up. Is a prophecy for past situation, present, or future? Bring it out. That's kind of a tricky question. No, it's not. I, I don't mean to be tricky. And, and my brother, I want to make sure he get an answer, but sometimes our people are so hasty to be wrong. Okay, say that one more time. Is a prophecy something for the past, present, or future? If I say I'm about to prophesy, there's, there's future implication, right? Understood. So what is going on right here is a prophecy during the time of Moses. Now, my brother, I, I'm still dealing with your question. You do? All right, so... Moses is prophesying. They already came out of Egypt at this time. They already got through the Red Sea. They already been delivered. Now Moses is giving the law to them again so that they don't fall prey to the same wickedness that they had from the beginning. Right. You understand that? So when it's talking about we will go into Egypt again, God is saying, if you don't keep my commandments presently, in your future, you're bound to go into slavery all over again. Right. That's what God is saying. But sometimes our people are so hasty to be wrong and stay in their sin that we stay in these conditions and then we smoke weed and sit down and drink too much and then we trying to figure out, well, what's wrong? What can, what, what, the white man hates me. No, you hate God. That's what it all boils down to. We're hating God because we don't want to keep his commandments. You understand that? What is a nation? Nation is family. Nation is community. Nation is men leading by example. Nation is women's support. Nation is children with role models. Nation is unity. Nation 